Solving exponential equations. We're going to talk about two different methods to do that. First, we're going to do um, expressing each side as a power of the same base. Our base is going to be B, which is bigger than zero, but not equal to one. And if you have B to the M equals B to the N, then your two exponents are equal, so m equals n. So for example, if we had 2 to the x equals 32, well 32 is 2 to the fifth, so we can rewrite that as 2 to the x equals 2 to the fifth, and since our two bases are the same, we have x equal 5. Now let's look at another example. Say that we had 6 to the 9x plus 1 equals 36. Well, 36 is 6 squared, so let's rewrite this as 6 squared over here on the right. And now we have the same base, so we're going to take 9x plus 1 equal 2. Now we have a linear equation. Subtract 1 divide through by 9, and our answer is 1 ninth. Now, sometimes you have to isolate your exponential term before you can use this procedure. So, for example, if we had 3 times 2 to the x minus 1 power minus 7 equal 41. Then, what we need to do is first add 7 to both sides. So we would get 48 on the right side, and now we're going to divide through by 3. So we will eventually get 2 to the x minus 1 equals 16, and 16 is 2 to the 4th. So 2 to the x minus 1 equals 2 to the 4th, and now we have the same base. We can set the exponents to equal each other, x minus 1 equal 4, and that's easy. Add 5 to both sides, and you get x equal 5. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about the next method, using logarithms to solve exponential equations. Now, first thing you have to do is isolate the exponential expression, and then look at the base. If you have base 10, you're going to use the common log. Take the common log of both sides. Do it to both sides. If you have any other base, then you're going to take the natural log of both sides. Then you're going to simplify using one of the properties, usually the power rule for logs or the inverse property for logs, and then solve for your variable. So for example, let's take a look at 9 to the 5x equals 11. Okay, exponential terms already isolated, so let's take the natural log of 9 to the 5x equals natural log of 11, and now we're going to use the power rule for logs, so we're going to bring the 5x out in front of the natural log of 9, equals natural log of 11. Now 5 is a number not equal to 0, natural log of 9 is a number not equal to 0, so we can divide both sides by 5 natural log of 9, so we're going to have 5x natural log of 9 divided by 5 natural log of 9 equals natural log of 11 over 5 natural log of 9. And of course, on the left side, everything cancels out except for the x, and you get natural log of 9 over 5, a natural log of 11 over 5 natural log of 9. Now, if you put that into your calculator, it becomes 0.2183 if you round to the fourth decimal place. Now let's look at another problem with base 10. So say that I have 6 times 10 to the 8x equal 42. Well, to isolate the 10 to the 8x, I divide by 6, excuse me, and I get 10 to the 8x equals 7. Now I'm going to take the common log, which is base 10, of both sides and common log of 10 to the 8x equals common log of 7. Now, the base of the common log is 10, so when you have a ten, your base of your log equaling the base of your exponential, those kind of wipe out, leaving you just the exponent 8x. So 8x equals common log of 7 
So x equals the common log of 7 over 8. And in decimal form, that's approximately 0 0.1056. Now, we could have used natural log. Let's start, oh, how about we start 10 to the 8x equals 7. And take the natural log of both sides. Okay, natural log of 10 to the 8x equals natural log of 7. Then you would have to use the power rule here and bring the 8x out in front. So 8x natural log of 10 equals natural log of 7. And so divide by the 8 natural log of 10, you get x equal natural log of 7 divided by 8 natural log of 10. And when you put that in a calculator, you get the exact same number. 0.1056 approximately. So as you can see, both log, common log and natural log will work here. Now let's look at one more example. Say that we had 2 to the e, I mean 2 times e to the x plus 4 equals 9. We'll divide through by 2. So we get e to the x plus 4 equals 9 halves, which you may write as a decimal if you wish. Now, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. And I'm going to keep it in fraction form, actually. And the base of the natural log is e. So once again, we're going to use the inverse property and have just the x plus 4 on the left side. So x plus 4 equals natural log of 9 halves. So x is the natural log of 9 halves minus 4 which is approximately negative 2.4959. And um, we will continue on the next video.